Hi everyone, uh, my name is Bungie, for those of you who do not know me, and for those of you who know me, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And this is Charles. Well, <laughs> what? Nothing. Okay, guys, well, the thing is, a lot of people know him because on the plant tab we have our YouTube channel. This one is today. Thank you. <laughs> so guys remember I did an opening and I was not good at it. I don't know how. I couldn't mount the things together. How do I put those things together? The okay. We bought a chainsaw, remember? Yes. And I couldn't do anything with my hands in it. So I'm gonna be like how I couldn't put that Thing. Okay, guys, Charles is not a morning person, and today he was kind enough to come and do a video with me in the morning. So, if he's a little just sad, I'm I mean, not sad. Yeah, he's not sad, but he doesn't like morning people. Like, there's too many people talking about him one day with him, but he's here because he loves me. Okay guys, today we're gonna do one unboxing, right? One unboxing, cause um, yeah, we're doing one unboxing today, which is this card. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I am excited about it. Um, there is another unboxing that we I did alone, and I don't know how successful it is. Maybe I'll add it here, but um. Maybe, what's this again? It's a screwdriver? No, it's a drill. It's a mini drill. Okay, this is a mini drill, which I'm so excited because I feel like I'm going to use Wireless this more. Wireless rechargeable. So, yeah. Yeah. We can actually charge it. Guys, like, load shedding. We got nothing on us anymore. <laughs> so, let me open it. Yes. Yeah. We need the scissors. I think we need the scissors. So, guys, today we're going to be doing one unboxing and then I'm, we're gonna be also showing you guys what tools do we have what is going on with this lighting okay, I'm back. okay he's coming back but then we are doing we're gonna be doing like one up, uh, unboxing and then we're gonna be showing you guys the different types of tools that we use in our line of work remember i told you guys that i do couches and they just make me feel a mishy <laughs> because I love to. I, I really love doing couches. I think it's just part of like my fave thing. Guys, what is going on with this lighting? I feel like I'm dark a little and or maybe I'm just not close enough. Guys, one sec. This will work now because actually Charles is a little taller. I hope this will work. Uh, sorry about that. I was fixing everything. I hope it will work. So as I said, one unboxing and then we'll show you guys the tools that we use in our line of work. We do couches. Remember, I told you that couches make me feel oh mushy and I love doing them because it's one of those things where I feel like um it's just taking something off. And renewing it and like redemption okay like giving it life again and yeah that's what I love about actually covering couches and also making couches ooh hear the sound of that <laughs> so this is what it looks like small tiny tiny I like I like the sound of it because like like we have another bigger one Yeah. 
We also need the squares, so these are the different types of things that I need to do in my book. Yeah. So, I don't know we're going to put that in and so on. The reason why I have tiles in this video today, guys, is because, like, yes, we have the tools, but some of them, I don't know how to mount them. So, before I play with them, I usually ask them. Ooh, look at that. So that's the that's the on button. Oh, that's the line. No, this is the button. This is the one. Okay. When you answer to the oh, guys. Okay. So guys, so this is in the right button there. Look at that. Okay, it's not the same. And you can switch it up again. So which one is on screw? The lower one. Which one is screw? This is the original screw, right? Mm -hmm. Unscrew it. Oh. You see, this is why I need tiles here, guys, because I'm out here just saying things. Okay. Apparently, this is unscrew and unscrew. Right? Yeah. It's really first to screw and unscrew, but. Love the side of the guy. Look at this. Like, look at that. Now, the reason we need uh, some of these tools is because um, not all cultures. Right now, we're busy with a recliner. Is it a recliner babe? Yeah. We are busy with the recliner couch, and that one it doesn't really need screws. Uh, but usually the couches that we do. Okay, let me just put this down. Usually the couches that we do, they need like screws and some of the screws are chopped into cups because some people are very, very big. Right now, I'm sitting on a couch. I don't know. I don't think you guys can see it, but I'll, I'll just add it in the video so you guys can see the couch. Um, right now, I'm sitting on a couch that we did and the person said they were like, they were still deciding if they wanted the couch. So, oh, look at Mr. Charles coming out here with things. Okay, with things to do. So, please, shall I? Okay, let me, should I hold it there? Let me just hold it. Uh, camera is there. why we need it actually we've got like um we've got bigger thing like bigger wood and very thick wood that needs like to be drilled in and out and sometimes we need we, we've got small wood for instance like this square so these we usually use them maybe for like the legs or like to conjoin something like in the middle so that it helps the couch uh, sit still um, like or maybe the plank the actual plank is too short and we use one of these two like whole join i'll do a vlog some other time for you guys when we actually building a couch outside because we haven't gotten an order from someone who wants to build a couch we've gotten a lot of orders though when it comes to covering couches i'll show you some of the couches that we've done before Maybe not today though, but um, moving on to the next one. What is next? The big drill, right? So, guys, this is the same company that we bought from. I mean, not, uh, it's the same brand. Yeah, same brand. We also use this one as well. This is what I do next. Okay, someone is just busy playing. With his toys, so this is from the same brand. This is just a bigger uh, one, and this is the one we literally use for wool drops. And I did I tell you guys that we actually made like a whole wool drop, like what do I call it? Closet, yeah. We actually made like a, a closet or a wool drop, but 
whatever you guys choose to call it i call it uh, wiggle this is south africa man yeah so we usually use this for bigger things like your big couches that we're trying to screw in stuff and we're trying to screw them out and yeah this is what we use and this one is a little scary i feel like i'm shooting in each other <laughs> let me play with this one <laughs> and then this is a circle saw okay we use the circle saw as well when we chopping wood actually yeah when we're chopping wood or when we're doing wardrobes because wardrobes also need cutting right we also use it to like yeah cut wood for wardrobes because like you buy a whole board and you actually have to measure how much you need for that certain wall in order to make a closet so yes this is a circle saw and again i think it's all the same company is it the same company guys yeah it's all the same company except for the one that i'm gonna show you next this one i actually i can't even say which one is my favorite because i love using these toys guys these are like my favorite toys so the blades are displayed over here they differ they differ in sizes depending on what you want to do or what you want to cut and yeah this is one of our latest the one that i told you guys that somebody literally gave this to us like felt like a donation i was like oh lord this person is donating to us great stuff but yes he gave us this and i can't say his name because i don't know if he'd be comfortable with us saying his name on a youtube channel but yes one of my favorites i love it um so this is the button for this one when you i'm just not going to use it right now because um this one yeah you could you should use it when you've got the goggles on and stuff but uh this is the button where you press when you are cutting this one right so this is the button you press when you are cutting and you have to make sure though that like your thing is precise actually and this is what you you have to like okay this is how you hold it actually this is how you hold it right uh i usually hold it like this right yeah like this so this um it covers the blade then when you want to cut you just turn it over you hold it like that and then you will cut yeah you will cut and it snaps so you need to be like you really need to have a, a really like you need to really work out so guys no wonder i'm getting biceps if you look <laughs> strong now because heavy things you know but these are cool toys so yes as i said circle so you need it you need it if you're going to be using wood if like you are into upholstery or carpentry yeah you need these tools you really need them and they just make your life easier than going to the shop and renting from someone and coming back and you know that whole saga and i also don't like renting people's things because what if they break and then now i have to literally pay for something that i didn't even ask for them like it wasn't even mine and i broke it and now i have to pay for it so it's a whole jambalaya and up next don't laugh but this is my miracle and it is this baby this baby this baby has saved my life guys if anybody wants to donate a sewing machine to me please do donate a sewing machine um when i started doing couches i needed a sewing machine i really needed a sewing machine and i was like you know what i'm just gonna try anything and Praise God and glory to the Lord because he has finally helped me master this little baby and I'm literally like using it guys to sew things with it. We, we usually sew with hand if it's like things that we don't know if we can master but ever since I mastered this little baby now I use it to sew like things that like you know you need your, your work needs to look professional first of all and also you don't want to give people things that are going to burst 
was what I learned with a, another couch that we did. It burst on the side because my incisions were not tight, tight. They were sewed in, like, they look neat, but they aren't tight enough to hold that pain in case somebody takes it and it goes boof. You don't want that happening. You don't want to hear snap sound when you sit on a couch. So, anybody who wants to donate an actual big sewing machine, please do. But for now, we are just using this because it was one of our spare opportunities. This is literally us like getting together all our tools and slowly they're coming together. But one of the things that we are missing is an actual big sewing machine. But we're using this for now. And it actually works quite enough. And up next is this guy. Any respectable upholsterer needs this. This is a stapler, guys, and it's a big stapler, but there is an actually bigger one. Like I told you guys, we are a startup business right now. We are a very small business, and this is what we could afford, and it has helped us, okay? It has done miracles as well, like, Jesus, I thank you. I thank you. I don't know how else would I be doing this. So this is a uh, four to ten meters, as you can see over there. This is a four to like ten meters, and um, in staplers, guys, in 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 staplers, like how uh, how long and how thick your staplers are. You can buy the four to ten meters, like this one. Because it actually helps your material stick properly and stay like on it properly. If you didn't know, yes, on your couches, look around. If you would tear your part apart, if you would tear your couch apart, you would find staples, and they use these babies. We're still gonna buy a bigger one actually, um, because this was just for us to start up our business, and it has really gone a long way. And yeah, we need another one. So. Now, we come to the king sword. So, like I said, so, like I said, this is also our newest, one of our newest, besides the smaller drill. You also need this little guy as well. It's also to cut wood, but then, you know, things are different in terms of measurement. This is where you cut, you press this little guy here in order to cut, and you put the blade over there. Okay. He's here to just put it inside, because he's the one who puts these things together, and I just use them. But uh, this chainsaw is from a different company, right? It's not like the other tools that we did. This one is from a different company. But then, um, thank you God for our tools, for bringing our tools together. We are still praying for a sewing machine. Guys, if anybody knows anybody who doesn't want their sewing machine anymore, please do donate to me. I need a sewing machine, like a big one, so that, and not just, I'm not just saying a big one, but we actually need an industrial sewing machine, and yeah. So, Mr. Charles over here is now literally in the working mode, and yeah, we're gonna go do a couch because we are currently building the couch like right this. now. Like this. Huh? Let me see something like this that came with it. What came with what? The jigsaw. No, jigsaw came with this. This is in the place. Yeah, it's on the top. So. Yeah, guys, those are all our tools that we use for now, for now, I'm just saying, for now. Um, please don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and also comment down below. And also, please, yeah, anybody who wants to donate a sewing machine, I need one, please. And, yeah, but so far, so good. I might put up the pictures of uh, the couches that we've done before. Yeah. 
I actually do enjoy doing couches. Now I'm going to go on to do a couch before I go to work. Remember, I'm a dental assistant, but when I'm home, I spare time and besides watching movies and just chilling with my moon pie with the child, I also uh, do couches. So, bye guys. See ya.